This is entertainment only. I'm not your financial advisor. Please make sure you do diligence on any ticker symbol that I am talking about in my videos, okay? Again, entertainment only. I am not your financial advisor. I'm sharing only with you guys the stocks that I'm invested in and also what process is working for me, okay? Good morning, guys. It's Ray B. Tan on the go. Welcome to Stock Talks. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Stock Talks. If you haven't already, please subscribe, please hit like, please hit the bell. Check this out, guys. As I mentioned in my last video, IPOE was going to do its thing, okay? If you bought them at $19, IPOE was going to do their thing. At some point right now, I am foreseeing a pullback. Not very much, maybe a few bucks. But again, when you see it dip, do not panic sell. The first thing you will do is to make sure you guys have buying power and then you will buy that dip, okay? We buy low, we sell high. So, guys, this is what I have done. I was almost 50% high. I actually ended up selling off um, and I plan to buy right back in this morning, okay? I'm just trying to figure out what the next buy-in level is and I believe it's gonna be between 24 and 25 dollars. So if you guys bought high, um, I did get a message from you, Jacob. Uh, if you are watching this, I believe um, you bought in at set $27. That is okay. I foresee IPOE going higher than just $27, okay? But if you have some more buying power and you see that dip, buy yourself some more shares, okay? You need to bring that cost basis down. So the minute that the stock starts rallying up again, you are going head to head with the stock price along with your price, okay? And that way you will be in the green right away. Um, so that's the best tip or advice that I could give you guys. Oh, I, actually, another one. If you guys are jumping into a stock and you don't know if it's in the middle of a rally or not, um, this is what I do. I buy one share, okay? Guys, I buy one share, all right? No matter what the price is, because at that moment in time, we do not know if they are in the middle of a rally at the moment, unless you have done your analytics or unless you have done, did your research and figure out when and where the exact pullback happened last, okay? Um, otherwise, if you're uncertain and you just want to jump in the fire, buy one share, monitor it, and at some point there will be a correction and at some point there will be a pullback the minute that happens, two, three, you know, five, ten percent down from the time you bought that one share, then you go ahead and put down the big bucks. Then you go ahead and scoop up your your bulk amount of shares. All right. So that's what I do, and it's been working for me. So guys, never panic sell. We buy the dip. But in any event, most importantly, I want to get this information to you guys while I am on the go. It's really snowing right now. My hands are getting tired, but check it out. Ticker symbol S-E-N-S, Sensionic, okay? They are a diabetic company who is innovating the CGM technology, okay? So if you guys are diabetic or if you guys know anybody who's diabetic, CGM is a great technology. Matter of fact, my son has been on CGM Dexcom for quite some time now, and... Um, it's actually been keeping his health very, very healthy. So I believe Sensionic is uh, getting ready to partner up with Essentia um, down in Europe. And I believe some of the articles that I have read, some of their patient trials has been successful. And I believe they are going for a 365 day CGM um, technology implementation um, as we move forward, okay, so more to come on that guys. I just want to you know I wanted to relay that ticker symbol to you guys SENC -E the company Sensionic and right now um, Actually, I bought them yesterday. I bought 500 shares at two dollars and 44 cents and They have been on the upside and I believe I am nearly over 25% right now, so I continue to hold them for the long term. I continue, I will continue to keep buying the dip. 
um, I see this thing progressing and I see this stock or this company um, progressing throughout for many years okay so they're very low right now and they're very cheap and um, I'm actually considering on uh, buying another 500 shares today so guys that's all I have for you guys man um, you know again just to recap IPOE you guys if you guys bought high make sure you guys are buying the dip do not panic sell um, we're gonna put all our hopes and belief in Chamath all right Chamath is a great dude I think in my personal opinion and um, I, 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 I get great vibes from the dude man so um, you know I hope everybody is, 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 is being you know staying safe and and I hope everybody's falling forward and not backwards with love peace and happiness man and um, that's all I have for you guys for now but keep in mind though in my next video I want to recap BFT LGVW and um, DMYD I have other ticker symbols TPGY those are all great ticker symbols that I've ate several and a few times already okay um, so before I close out this video I do want to share with you guys um, or re-emphasize to you guys the SPAC merger process okay again it's it's a three months process for a SPAC merger you can eat off them about three or four times okay by taking the wave up profit out let it pull back jump back in let it ride up take the profit out etc um, a lot of people may stay in it all the way up until the ticker the new ticker symbol changes from what the SPAC merger company is to the new ticker symbol but I'm not plan on doing that to any of these SPACs I plan on flipping my money okay and then buying in for the long term because I've already experienced a flaw with LCA merging with GNOG or vice versa GNOG doing a reverse merger with um, LCA I rode that um, I rode that uh, SPAC deal all the way up until they merge up until the ticker symbol changed from LCA to GNOG and it went from like $30 a share down to 19 so that wasn't a good look for me man I was in the hole for quite some time I'd never panic sell though so I finally uh, dagged down on them and got my cost basis back down to about $20 a share and I think I'm sitting about 125 shares of GNOG right now just waiting for it to take me to the moon so guys man that's pretty much the uh, simplified way how I can explain the SPAC merger trust and believe in the process man it's three months hold on strong it starts off like this the first month or the first ride is they do a public announcement via definitive merger second is they file the F4 form third is they file the S4 form uh, with the SEC and then um, and then um, they set the merge date and possibly about a week a week and a half or two weeks out from the set merger date uh, that's when the rockets are loaded and uh, that's where we continue to keep loading up the rockets man and then allow them and let them take us to the moon and then we come back down secure the bag okay it's your boy Ray B10 man you all stay blessed I love you guys hey it's always about you know falling forward never backwards with love peace and happiness man and um, if this was a great lead if this was a great lead for you guys, man, please do subscribe. Please hit like. Please leave me a comment and show Ray B. Tan some love, man. I'm not here to steer you guys wrong. I'm very transparent. I'm going to let you know what the real is and what the up and up is, okay? We're not here to lose any money, man. I hate to lose money, and I hate for you guys to lose money, too. We're here to capitalize, and we're here to capitalize on the gains, man. It's Ray B. Tan, man. I love you guys. Peace.